Oof. Okay, this is the first time I've ever lived in a different country that's not Colombia. And in London, it's always raining. And not having a method of transportation, I gotta tell you, it sucks. But I'm getting used to it. The things that I'm not getting used to is being called the best player on the team. Not only that, but the manager actually having expectations of me. So yeah, there's a couple things I'm getting used to. For example, the first time I ever walked into a football pitch, it was amazing. But now, walking into a stadium with my fans, it's incredible. Opening day, yes, first game of the season right here at home, at the Den, it would be against Bradford City. Now, we had a very, very good preseason, so a lot of people were expecting big things from Millwall. Now, Millwall came in fourth in English Football League 1 last season, so with myself as an improvement to a team that wants to be more attacking, yeah. Expectations were high, but from the beginning of the match, as you can see, Bradford City was all over us. I tried to dictate the tempo, but I just kept losing the ball. The speed of the game, once you really start league play, changes a lot, and I just kept losing the ball. It was just, I couldn't understand what I was doing wrong, and it almost cost us a couple times. Right here, minute 32, Archer saves us from a direct shot on goal. Then on minute 33, Law from Bradford City shoots, but just wide, just wide of the target. Then minute 45, we finally start waking up. I find Warall and he almost, almost gets a goal. It's blocked by the keeper, but we would still have a chance. It's a corner. And as I step up to take that kick, I'm praying that this one is finally the one that gives me an assist from the corner. They've been giving me this responsibility and I want to repay it. So, as the ball travels through the air, Morrison leaping in the air, he heads it past the defender. The goalkeeper is late to react and this ball has only one destination. And that destination is the back of the net. But no! A goal line clearance, a goal line clearance denies me the opportunity of the first assist from a corner and we will go into the half disappointed because we started off really slow but we, we kind of, we, we, we started to play better later on in the game so it's very disappointing especially not getting that assist. I mean a goal line clearance that was terrible. Then in the second half the team very tired, tired legs, but we were still defending with ferocity. And we knew if we kept pushing, we could find that chance. And then, in minute 60, I give a pass off and I make that run, that cutting run that I've been known for now. I take a shot with my weak foot, it falls to Lee Gregory, he shoots, again a goal line clearance. But this time, the ball fortunately does go behind the line and that is a goal. I did not get an assist, but you could, you could almost call it an assist. I didn't get it, we still got the goal. That man right there, Lee Gregory. He's doing big things for us, man. I think Phil Pot, he's done. Phil Pot is done, minute 90. We're still coming at them. They defend, but the game is done at that point. One nil, starting the season off right here at the Den. You know, 7.7, .7, not my best match, but to get my first win at home, that is amazing. The next game would be at home once again, EFL Cup against Cheltenham Town. And this game we had to win because the, this team is a team from English Football League 2. So we're a step above them and we should show it. But they proved to be very, very tricky. They were defending really, really well. But then minute 10 can we finally get this assist. I send in the cross, Butcher comes over, heads it and finally, finally I get that assist. I needed that assist. We've been, we've been very close to scoring from, from my corner crosses and it just wasn't happening. But finally in the 10th minute, it did. But we started to get complacent. Right here in minute 20, Cheltenham coming in. We make a mistake on defense and Archer bails us out, but that was, 
Oh, that was really, really close. Then, minute 43, right here, I show you. This is complacency. They're not closing down anybody. It's two defenders on the player. Nobody closes them down. It's a shot. It rebounds. And right there, Pell scores the goal to, to, to even it up. And I just, I can't believe it. Like, we tried so hard. And this is not, th this team is not on our level. And yet, we're drawn. We're drawn against this team. And in the second half, I mean, it wouldn't change. I had, I had a couple chances right here with the header. I, mi I cannot believe we miss it. But... I am probably the smallest person on the pitch. Still, I get another opportunity right here. I try from distance, but it goes over the crossbar, and that would be the end of my game. I get subbed off in minute 77, and I've been a very good driving force for this team, but I have faith that Millwall can do it without me, and they do 2-1. to one. And we stay undefeated, especially, and it feels really good being undefeated at the den because we're protecting the house. But now, Coventry City away, our first away game. And this game, I mean, it's better that we just forget it. Minute 82, I get subbed off. Nothing happened this game. We were terrible, and so were they. So the game ends in a nil-nil draw. And that puts us in eighth place in EFL League One. Whew. Not the place we want to be, but the season just started now going back to the den so far So good playing at home. We have two wins in two home games So hopefully we keep that going right here minute three I pass it to Lee Gregory, but he is just shoved off the ball tired legs again Man, we really need some rest. I try to go around the defender I get tackled and we were just getting bullied this match. I mean Every time we were even close to touching the ball, they closed us down immediately and took the ball away, and we we just couldn't tackle. For some reason, the team not closing down, and right here, it's almost a chance. Davies with the ball. He lays it over to Camps, who shoots, and it's right over the crossbar. Thankfully, whew, that could have been bad, but minute 45 right here again. Rochdale coming right at us. Another pass, and this time the defense does a wonderful job, but... That's all we were doing pretty much that first half, holding on for dear life. And we were just hoping to come out on the second half and put in a good performance. But the second half starts and we again, they just pinned us back. We were having some bad passes. Nothing was going our way. And we, at this point, we are desperate. We're desperate for something to happen. But as you can see right here, they just, they kept lunging balls into the box and we couldn't do anything about it. Here, I almost intercept the ball, it goes through my legs. I just, we were just weak. We couldn't do anything. For some reason, we were stuck. Minute 58, we finally wake up. I send in a pass, but again, bullied off the ball. Every time we tried to set up something offensive, we were just missing that final touch right here. A back heel and it's blocked. And it would have been a beautiful play, but like I said, just not concentrated enough. Minute 65, I have the ball, I lay it off to Morrison, he shoots, but I, oh, it was so close, but that's just what was happening. Everything was really close, just one touch away from scoring, and I just, I wasn't strong enough. I was trying, but I just couldn't do it. But then, something sparked. Nobody's ever believed in me, only Millwall. So it was time to dig deep and make something happen. Here he is again. Here he is again. That's astonishing. Oh. It's absolutely world class. Yes. Finally. Finally, we had broken the deadlock. Oh, man. It felt really good to be able to get this for the team, but the job wasn't done yet. Minute 90. Rochdale once again on the attack. They come forward. Davies sees a teammate in the back post, but Cummings. Cummings heads it out, and it's a corner. Minute 90 corner. Nerves of steel. We have to stay concentrated. Now, I'm the smallest player, so corners are not my thing. But here, I make the clearance. Get it out of here. We're still undefeated. Still undefeated at the den. That's how we do it. 8.4 match rating. 8.4 match rating. I've never had fans call my name and believe in me. I like this. You know what? I can get used to this. <laughs>